Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Jake Makes. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build this hairspray powered pistol. So here are the plans I drew out. This was my kind of original idea, concept, drawing, kind of a, a steampunk, flintlock, pirate pistol kind of idea. Uh, I'm not sure how far that's going to go with this, probably going to change it up. This was my more finished drawing I made to show, you know, the parts I was going to need and how they were going to fit together. This is going to be a screw cap fitting on the end so you can unscrew it and put in the hairspray and then screw it back up. You're going to have a hole drilled into the combustion chamber to put your sparker wires, which is going to be the trigger over here. The handle I'm going to make out of a piece of scrap 2x4, I'm pr I think. Um, I think I'm just going to actually drill a hole through here and then put the pieces of the PVC together through the hole and then add glue to where it's not going to be able to come apart. And then I'll secure the handle to the rest of the gun. The barrel, of course, is going to be removable. You can take it off, put it back on, um, put a larger barrel on it, which will give me more freedom with what I'm going to be able to shoot. This might change as I build it. <laughs> we will see. To build this gun, you are going to need some one and a half inch diameter PVC pipe, two of these 90 degree half inch couplings, some half inch PVC pipe, a one and a half inch screw cap fitting like this, or something like that, a one and a half inch straight coupler and something that goes from half inch to one and a half inch PVC. I found this screw fitting the most simple and it was cheap. You are also going to need a barbecue igniter for the sparker assembly. That's what sets off your hairspray. Some scrap wood. I'm using a piece of two by four for the handle. Some spray paint, I'm using flat black spray paint. And of course, some PVC cement and primer. All told, you ought to be able to make this gun for about 25 bucks. The main expense is going to be the barbecue igniter, which I bought for 12 bucks. You can substitute this for a salvage lighter sparker instead for more like $2, which is what I did for the rifle I built. But this will last much longer and be much more reliable. Now on to the building. The first step on this build is to mark and cut all the PVC where you want it. So after you go and cut all the PVC, you want to dry fit all of it together, make sure everything sticks together exactly the way you want it, all the uh, sizes are right, you know, you have all the PVC cut to the right angles, make sure it all works, you know it's going to work before moving on to the next step. You don't want to glue part of it together 
and then suddenly realize, uh-oh, I did something wrong. I have done it before. It is very frustrating. So just make sure everything fits together, you know, the right size. Right now I'm gonna, I made the barrel as long as the combustion chamber, so they kind of end at the same point. I think that looks kind of cool. Might change that later. And then we're gonna need to start working on the handle before we start gluing. Okay, so the next step is going to be making the handle. So I have my block of wood here, and I have traced onto it the shape the handle is going to be. And then I believe my, um, I'm thinking I'm just gonna drill a hole through here and put it kinda like this. Can you tell what I mean? So we will see how that works. First step, I'm going to cut this out. All right, now as you see, I've got the shape cut out. And I did a little bit of sanding. Now it's time to sand and sand and sand and sand and sand some more until this is actually a handle. I now have this sanded, sanded down and cut out. It feels pretty good. I think it's the way I want it. So now I'm going to figure out where I want to drill the hole here. Uh, and to mark that. Let's see. The sparker here to kind of figure out where that's going to go in there somewhere. About there. That'll do. So, I'll mark on both sides. So I can figure out the middle. There. And there. So now I know where to drill my hole. So I'm going to go ahead and drill out this hole. I will be using a one inch Forstner bit here and we'll try to do this without taking my hand off or anything. Did I mention this Forstner bit's dull as a rock? Let me try another one. Let's try that again. There we go. Much better. I think I see light down there. <laughs> Remind me never to do this again. work. That would be the hardest method I could have thought of to attach a handle to this thing. I did it. We're through. Alright. That was way harder than I thought it was good to me. But that's how it usually goes. All right, so now I have the hole drilled and let's see if it fits. Yes, fits perfectly. Just a tad loose, so I will glue the parts up in there to make sure it all stays where it's supposed to. 
have to do some minor adjustments to the handle probably, but actually turned out pretty well. And now on to the sparker assembly. As you can see here, I went ahead and electrical taped the um, exposed metal pieces there so you won't get shocked. And you see all these, um, I don't know, these ends that are made for a, a grill. We're going to go ahead and cut them off right there since we don't need those. And we're going to have to cut it shorter anyway. So, let's get rid of that. Now, we need to figure out where to mark where to drill the hole for this assembly. I want it to be about right there. So I'll go ahead and mark that. Like so. As you can see, I have the hole drilled in here, and the sparker fits inside it perfectly. I'm going to go ahead, and because the way I want it wired, I'm going to stick it through like this, and then have the wires come like that. So I'm going to go ahead and electrical tape this back end here. All right, perfect. There we are. See? Just like that. About perfect. Right where I want it. And the wires are going to come up like this. And probably wrap around and then come into the chamber at about the middle. You want it close enough to where you can get inside it and adjust the wires if they're too far apart or get too close together, get clogged or something. But you also want it to where it's going to set off the hairspray every time. So about the middle should be good. As you can see, I have disassembled the gun. And before we start gluing things together, you want to make sure to take a wet rag and wash all the parts off just to make sure they're nice and clean so that the glue and everything will stick to them. So, I'm just going to go ahead and wash out these parts a little bit. Doesn't take that much. I just want to make sure I get, you know, a lot of any crud that's on there off. Alright, now that everything has been washed out, we're going to go ahead and start with the primer. Now, remember, you need to only do this in a well-ventilated area or outside. I have the doors open, windows open, and the fan is on, which is the noise you're hearing. Sorry about that. And you just want to make sure you do it in a well-ventilated area. So we're just going to kind of go around it like that. Not too crazy. You, know, you don't need to gunk it on there just enough. You want stuff to stick together. Try to kind of clean it out, you know, not leave too much in. Alright, just keep going through all of them. After you've given everything a few minutes to dry, we can go ahead and start on the cement. Now, remember to go easy with the cement, especially. Doesn't need much. Apply the cement to both sides, and then stick them together. If it, it'll try to push out on you as the PVC um, bonds together, and you just want to keep pressure on it for about, I don't know, a minute, just to make sure it doesn't push out, and then you're done.
I have all the parts glued together now and I was wondering how I was going to attach the PVC to the handle you know I drilled the hole but I was gonna need to put in some kind of glue or something and then I thought that I could just wrap it with some electrical tape inside there and then just you know hammer it in and I did and it works it's really snug you know you're barely able to twist it and that's perfect exactly how I wanted it so now I'm going to take and glue put the PVC the two pieces of PVC together around the hand take some PVC cement and around here and then down inside here. Right. This part's tricky because you want to get the barrel lined up and press it together really good. And... Alright, I think I have it. There we go. See the two are perfectly in line with one another. Perfectly straight. And we're about completed with the construction here. See our sparker assembly. We'll go right in here just like this. Get pushed in. Like that. And I'll push it in a little bit more, but See, so we'll go just like that, and then we will drill our hole right there. Go ahead and mark that hole right there, and then we'll epoxy the wires in place inside there. Unfortunately, we're going to have this funny thing sticking up. I did not think about that when I was planning this. And I don't think I'm able to cut this down that far without it messing up the workings of it, so that'd be interesting. Now we're going to put the sparker wires into the chamber. See, I drilled the hole in there. Um, we're going to take and then just electrical taped the wire down to the PVC. So we're going to measure, kind of see how far I want it to go into the chamber. Cut it about there. And then I'm going to need to strip the wires. Strip oh, there we are. And then strip the other one. Good, perfect. See? Just like that. Gonna twist them around each other. Stick them down into my hole, like so. Works to perfection. Alright, I have my JB Weld here. I'm going to go ahead and... We don't need much, just enough to kind of... Get in there really solid. All right, we'll go ahead and mix it up. All right, now let's go ahead and stick it in there. Kind of just dollop it on. We want it to go down inside and really get in there really good. All right, that looks about perfect. <laughs> you can call such a mess perfect. Now I'm going to use some more electrical tape over the top of it. I really like electrical tape, if you can't tell. 
This stuff works for everything. And with the wires for the sparker in place, the gun is now complete and fully functional. Of course, it still looks terrible. So now I'm going to paint it. And there it is.